right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whoever's watching this video. This is downtown 320. I'm in Barnes and Noble recording a video. I'm just checking out the various art books of the Barnes and Noble. They got the books they got here, activity books, got puzzles, pop-up books. And more books. And these are for artists over here. Barnes and Noble. It's a Sunday, October. Check out this book here. Uh, I did a movie about her starring Selma Hyatt. It's pretty good. Check it out. These are various other books. some new books over here. If you guys out there into Marvel comic books and art, check out these new books here. Check out this one over here. There goes the man himself, Bruce Springsteen. This is an album, believe it or not. It's not a book. That's a book down there. These are books. Born to Run, Bruce Springsteen. If you're a Bruce Springsteen fan, go get it. Barnes and Noble or Amazon. And right over here, look. Vinyl. See this? This is back. Vinyl. Why is it back? Because another generation discovered this and they're like into the vinyl. This is not really new to me because I grew up in vinyl because I was a kid in the 70s and 80s. Vinyl is not really new. Check out the albums they got here. Look at this. MJ. Classic. This is the Thriller album. Have it. It's at home. The original Thriller album. Also have the Off the Wall album he did when he first started to get solo with the Jackson 5. And it goes Dr. Dre, the Chronic album. This is from the 90s. This is a classic. We got Madonna over here. Check out Prince. Around the World in a Day. I have this on tape. We got some good songs in this. We got Raspberry Beret. We got some other songs pop life as well. So Broadway, to Broadway stuff, it's a story, musicals. And check it out, Star Wars. And check out this uh, soundtrack. Check out 
out. The lightsaber in hand, the galaxy in the background. Put this back. Careful, do not break it because I do not want to pay for it. And these are vinyls and stuff. And check it out, record player right down the bottom. in the background, it's just people checking out stuff. Check it out. Stereo equipment, we got this record player. And there's another record player right there. If you guys want to check out all this stuff, check it out in Barnes & Noble if you have it around your area. And check it out, Nirvana. Like classical, classic vinyl. And this is uh, Barnes and Noble. Check it out on your website. Whatever book you're intro into or interested in, it. any new releases, go to Barnes and Noble uh, website, BarnesandNoble.com. Check out any new releases, anything good. And right over here we got fashion. If you're into fashion and all that stuff. You know, I was thinking. I know art school is great and stuff, but if you think about it, you don't really need to go to art school because all this stuff is right here. All this stuff you want to know about art, like painting, sculpting, uh, drawing, right up here. Look, look what it says right up there. Art and graphics. Basically, some of these books have information about painting, brush strokes, coloring, light and shadow, a lot of other interesting stuff. You don't really want to go, don't really need to go to art school. You just learn all this stuff right here in Barnes and Noble bookstores. It teaches you how to do this and that, painting, drawing, sculpting, a lot of other stuff. Art school is just you know you got to pay. You go in there, they teach you how to do this and that. You know, it's interesting stuff, but you know, psh, don't really need to go to art school. It's right here, see that? Art and technique. These books have information of drawing, painting, design, or whatever art you're into, art deco and fashion right over here too. Those books. If you want to be a fashion model or a photographer, photos, all the information is in these books. Don't really need to go to art school. I know I keep repeating that. You know, people waste money and they. they Leo, please, call, please come to the info desk. Leo, to the info desk. People waste money and going to art school and they, you know, they should realize, you know what, wait a minute. All this stuff, information is right here in the bookstore in Barnes and Noble. Painting, drawing, sculpting, and stuff. This book's already show. This is this basic. Um, you know, activity books, uh, puzzles, you know, connect the dots and a lot of other stuff. But I haven't been doing any um, videos lately. I've been taking breaks, you know. But I'm planning to get back into videos again because since summertime was here, so I took a long break. And that was about it. The weather was warm and hot. So, you know what? I'm going to take a long break. We're in October now. The weather's a little cooler now home been out doing this and that mostly home chilling out with the air the air conditioning and stuff check out these other books over here well, there was a book on Salvador Dali if I can find it well, that's not it oh look Leonardo the Holy Child this is an interesting book I'm not gonna open these books up I suggest to go, you guys go to Barnes & Noble, check it out yourselves, buy a book if you're into art, l literature, history, and science, a lot of other stuff, check out this, this is an interesting book, see that, graffiti, this stuff is 
all over New York City on the trains, walls, even in the projects and the stairways. Look at this here graffiti, school of uh, the gods is graffiti. The manual, in case you want to learn how. This I don't really know, don't need to learn how because basically you just take a marker or spray can and you start doing it when you're young, like you see when like 10 or 9 or 11 and stuff. These are interesting books. This book is interesting. Look. Wall Riders, Graffiti and Its Innocence. Wow. Look at that. That's by the publisher. The best is like stuff from like either the late 60s, late 60s and the early 70s through the 80s. Like subways and walls and all the other stuff. There's a little crown. You see the little crown? They use that little crown. Back basically either a graffiti writer has been tagging for years. Basically he's a king so he gives himself a little crown. But there were a lot of like graffiti king writers and all that back in the days. Look at that. It's very interesting artistic books. And look at this photograph. If you want to be a photographer, take pictures of models and stuff. There's some interesting books over here. I'm not going to open these books because I don't want to get in trouble. I'm going to check these books out and look at over here. Travel assessments. These are basically books on stuff around the world like foreign places exotic places is like information on various books over here u.s travels I'm travel like areas in the united states and other places i have some new releases over here these various new books I want to check them out. See photographs. If you want to be a photographer, take professional pictures. So that was it. I was just talking about. You can just basically study all these books. Now you don't have to go to school for real. You don't have to waste money and go to school. And these schools are expensive and stuff. There's another interesting book up there. I'm trying to find a book. There was a book on Salvador Dali. If I can find it. Oh, check this out. Keith Haring. Look at that. The Urban Theater, New York Art in the 80s. And it goes Keith Haring. He used to do all these like drawings in the subways back in the 80s. Like late 70s and early 80s. This is him. He did get arrested a couple of times for doing this, but this guy became world famous though. Doing all this art. His art is unique and different from anybody else's art. Alright, I'm trying to find. There's another book up here. And there's a painting. See that right there? Very interesting. Masters in paintings and stuff. I'm trying to remember where I saw that Salvador Dali book. This book is interesting. Check that out. Right up there. Artists. Let's see. Oh, here we go. This Salvador Dali. Look at the, the title of this. Pop-ups. <laughs> Guy was a genius though in painting. Well, 
was this style? Oh yeah. The style is this God again, I think it was surreal art, I think, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Man was a genius though. Painting. Visual. The treasure of Dolly. This guy is my favorite artist though. I love his fucking vision and painting and a lot of other this guy did like a I guess like a thousand paintings though. It was surreal, that's the word. Surreal either imagery, nightmares or in colors and stuff. Even three dimensional like imagery of his paintings and stuff. This guy was like a genius in art. And there's another painter right here. Gotta respect the masters. The masters did a lot of great work in painting and drawings and stuff. Well, that's the book I want to show you. Salvador Dali. One of my personal favorites in art. In painting and drawings and stuff. Well, I'm gonna shut this down. This is um, Downtown 320. Broadcasting um, Barnes & Noble on the west side and Broadway on 78th Street 78th Street or 79th Broadway and saying goodbye and thank you for watching this video and have a good day and bye bye